Welcome to the Mjombox Arduino based synthesizer. So starting out with the basic sine wave, we've got about 20 waves accessible with this knob. Go all the way from your basic sort of sine and triangles and squares and saws all the way to some kind of weird, noisy, bespoke stuff with a, a lot of artifacts that might sound quite nice through a filter. Um, if we take that back to basic sign, what we've also got is two um, wavetables designed by John Reynolds. Um, here's one of them. They can be swept through, a classic wavetable synthesis. This one's more like a wave folding kind of sound. Okay, so that, that's the wavetable selection and cycling through the wavetable. Um, so it's all done with wavetables, but the top one is just each wave has no resemblance to the other ones. It's more like a bank. Um, so what we can do is we can target the LFO. The LFO is in green. And we can target that through the wavetable, which is the center option. So we can change the shape of the wave. The Sounds a lot better with reset on, I think, because that resets the LFO every time you hit the key. So the LFO is able to target the sweep. If I tar uh, pick the, the bank bass waveform, you can get kind of a... kind of percussive sort of sounds because it cycles through and some of them are fairly noisy so it's almost like a snare hit. Um, the LFO uh, has has three modes. We've just looked at targeting the, the wavetable. Here let's target the, the, the pitch. Pretty pretty standard. Three shapes. There is another option which can target FM, but before we do that, roll off that, have a look at some FM, just dial some in. Straight away that sign's a bit more interesting, a lot brighter. Um, it's ratioed, the, the um, modulator is ratioed against the carrier. We can set it to free mode. It always gives the sound I think of as the Silent Hills radio tuning for some reason. I can actually target the amount of FM ratio with this here as well. So if I There's quite a lot you can get out of that just with with a sine wave. But let's take take those out, and uh, of course, you can put the FM into free mode, so it's not ratioed against the carrier. Let's go back to the basic wave again. Oops, and off all that stuff. Uh, let's see what we can do with the envelope. Some quite crazy sounds out of that. <laughs> so 
So we will be adding to this an analog filter. Um, it's all powered in through a USB cable, which is currently coming in through the side and it's just plugged straight into the Arduino. Um, there's an Arduino Uno in there, uh, Nano, I'm sorry. And uh, that's powering everything. There is, there is nothing else in the box, except the backs of these components. The light flashes when the MIDI is coming in. You can switch off MIDI input. Might be able to hear me banging on the keyboard. Um, if you switch MIDI input off, you can program new, new stuff onto the Arduino through the RX input. Because if the, um, there's anything going on on the RX input and you're trying to shove stuff over USB, it goes nuts. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is the Mjombox, and uh, I'm in soon, let's hope.